Alright, so I'm making an Adventure Builders Club video game. Because I can stand here on camera and tell people how to be adventure builders and how great it is to be imaginative and honorable and all that. But, uh, I think it'll be much better in a video game. Besides, it'll be way more fun. Um, okay, blah blah blah, I'll just show you it. Alright, hey look, here's me. Yes, I'm the main subject of my video game. Who else was I going to get to uh, dance like this while I take video of them from overhead and, you know, get little running animations of them? Yeah, I'm always here so I can do that. Anyway, so here I am out in the world running around, and if I go on a path I can run even faster. Yeah, grass is a little bit slower. Ooh, look, it's an adventure builder symbol. And here's the dome. There's nothing inside it yet. The dome is the building I'm currently in right now. And over here, this is my giant uh, it's a thing. See, it wax stuff. I use it to split logs for firewood normally. And you can chop trees down. Oh yeah, the trees, when you get close to them, the top disappears so you can see what's under them and then you just see the stump and then you go away. And if you top, chop down a tree that has a rope attached to it, then you can get the rope. Except I'm holding my axe thing still, so there I can get the rope. Oh, check this out. If I use the rope, I can pull a log around. And slow, of course, because, you know, it's a big, heavy item. There's lots of different things you can drag around that have different weights. Let's get rid of that for a minute. Oh, and if we go up to the top of the mountain, all this is very roughly accurate to the geography that's here. There is actually a rope to go up to the top here. This stuff isn't there, but it is in my video game. So this is all the adventure builder stuff. This is kind of like a shrine kind of thing at the top of the mountain. And you'll be able to do stuff here that's not programmed yet. Because, you know, I'm still working on this. Ooh, yeah, let's get on the path and go faster. If we go down here, here's my banana building. Totally not wrecked. Ooh, there's a robot inside. And it's totally finished, but it won't be finished at the beginning of the game. There, I just picked up a dart shooter. Uh, no, not a dart shooter, a, uh, what's it called? Um, a disc shooter. Oh yeah, it's a tight squeeze to get out of the door because, you know, it is in real life. Here, and if I, uh, I can shoot discs with this thing. And if I hold down the shoot button, it does like sort of Mega Man style where it powers up and then you get all this stuff blasting off and then you shoot and it shoots really far. It bounces all over the place. And there, there are different blasters. Um, I like, I'll just show you the disc one right here. Oh no, there's an enemy thing. Uh, he shot himself because it bounced off a tree. It's a little bit hard fighting guys in the woods. Now, blowing up guys is not going to be the main focus of the game. That will definitely be a part because, you know, that's kind of fun to do. Oh, I can't squeeze through the trees. Okay. Then I can get out of my robot, and notice that when you're in the robot, you get like a way zoomed out view, but then if you get out of your robot, you're zoomed way in. Oh yeah, I also have a trunk. Check it out. If I... Wait, let me show you again. If you get out of the robot, then there's a lock here. If you go touch, touch the lock, then your trunk opens, and then you can throw stuff in your trunk, and then you can walk around, you know, blah, 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 and then you come back out, and ooh, it's back again, you can pick up your stuff, and you can put lots of stuff in the trunk. I was very excited when I programmed that one. Not that it was super hard, but you know, it was a little bit tricky to get that to work. Um, okay, and over here I've got a... Let me just put my chopper in there. I have a shovel. And if I use my shovel, I can dig holes. See, I can dig a little hole, or a slightly bigger hole. And those two holes will disappear, but if you dig three times, then you get a big hole, and it stays there. And let me put that in the trunk too. And, Go get a rope. There's one in here. Ah, in the workshop, yeah. And then if you grab a log and start dragging it into the hole, bloop, then you kind of drop it into the hole. It becomes a big pillar, and you can use it as like uh, like cover. If you're if some guys are coming to get you, you can like build a wall of these kind of. Oh wait, that's not what I want. I can dig another hole. So you can dig another hole, and then. Throw your shovel over here, and then... And there will be lots of different things you can interact with. So, it'll be very, I guess, 
in video game nerd terms, it'll be very sandboxy, where there's lots of uh, different items you can use, and there's just it's a very open game. It's not the kind of game where you have to do this and then that and then the next thing. It's you can do. There's like, what am I trying to say? There's like a hundred different ways you could finish the game. Oh yeah, and Jamie's swim, of course, because I like to swim. Oh, and if we go over here, oh, here's a fire pit. I don't know what I'll do with that, but there is one there in real life, so I put it there. Over here is the spring house, and there's, you know, tasty spring water in there. I'll have to make that heal you. Um, oh, I should show you the other blasters. They're not actually in here right now. Um, let me open the thing and put some in there. Let's see, I want to get a... One of those right there. And hold on a second. Okay, I'm back here. And if I use any tool on the robot, it repairs its health. I don't think you can see its health. It's up here. I have to make it easier to see. Uh, let me get in the robot, squeeze out the door and out the thingy. And then, oh yeah, this is all different kinds of ammo. This is balls, and you can't see the darts very well. But Turbo speed. Jamie's can also use the ammo and kind of roll them at places. Oh, I turned my strength way up, so I'm shooting these way fast. Because at the beginning of the game, you won't be this strong. But I had to make it myself strong enough to drag a log around or else I couldn't show you. Anyway, um, you can't pick these up unless... Oh, I put those on the wrong layer. Unless you have the associated blaster. Alright, so this is the dart blaster. Oh, and that's set to shoot really fast right now. Whatever. Now. It doesn't have any sound effects yet. Oh, if it hits stuff, it does. Wait, where's the ball blaster? Alright, I got the ball blaster on there. Here, let me zoom in a little bit. Ah, you can't really see it that well on here. Anyway, if you hold down the shoot button, a little target thing comes out. And then you let go, and then a ball shoots there. See? Oh, it kind of goes up in the air and then lands. So you can aim different distances. Oh, and this one's cool because you can stand on the other side of uh, obstacles and like this building or if you set up some log pillars and you can shoot over them. So guys totally can't get you. Whoa, like this guy, he's coming. I can stand on the other side of the building and I can totally shoot him. Oh. And this is supposed to say his health there, which I just messed something up on it. Oh, there, I set his health there. The ball blaster is actually my favorite of the, uh, the blasters. Because uh, you can shoot over stuff, and then it does damage when it hits, and it also has, like, splash damage. Like, it kind of, like, has a shock wave that... and hits other guys. And I put some a bunch of robots over here so I can show you how they work. And I programmed sort of simple AI into them, but they do dodge, and they're a little bit hard to hit. Because they come straight after you until they get within range, and then they start walking sideways and kind of dodging out of the way a little bit. But with the ball blaster, I can hit more than one guy at a time. Although the disc, the disc shooter is cool because you can bounce it off guys, so you can hit multiple guys that way too. Oh no, I'm out of balls, I need to pick some more up. And all your ammo is reusable, because I like stuff that's reusable. Oh, and there's no, there's no special animation for when they get blown up yet. Oh, and in my game, they're just going to be like, uh, sort of drones. There's no one in them, there's no intelligence, so you don't have to feel bad about blowing them up. They're just troublemakers. Bad machines like a virus. Sort of like zombie. You know like in zombie movies you can blow them up and not feel bad because they're already technically dead? Sort of like that, except they're machines that are just causing trouble. And then when you blow them up... Um, oh, let me get rid of this guy. Anyway, when you blow up a robot, it won't just disappear like that. It'll like turn into a, like a... a like a little scrap pile and then you can go over and use your tools and drag parts out and use it to repair your own robot right now I just you know just use my tool but it doesn't actually use up any material but I'll I'll have some kind of spare parts thing up here or something right now I've just got 
the number of balls because that's my current item and my robot health is 106 and then my Jamie item is my destroyer that's what I call this this thing because it's just a big heavy chunk of steel that I used to destroy lots of things it's like a sledgehammer and a splitting wedge and anyway yeah there will be lots of different options of things to do and whenever you uh, whenever you blow something up you'll be able to get spare parts out of it and stuff like that and all this stuff up here will be very important but uh, I'm not going to give away the special secrets yet you know you'll have attributes and they'll be connected to all your adventure builder stats and stuff oh and there will also be tons of building and stuff you have to build lots of things to get through different obstacles but there won't be like a specific way you have to get through there will be different ways various different ways you can get through pretty much any obstacle and uh... Ah, well the story is going to be like huge and epic i know i know how people use the term epic now but epic in the traditional sense of the word oh and the program i'm using to build this is construct2 it works really well. I originally started with a different program called Stencil, which I also think is pretty good. Both of these programs, Construct2 and Stencil, I find to be very good. But Stencil, you, with Stencil you can't have as many objects in uh, a scene as you can with Construct. You can have like 10, 20 times as many things on the scene in Construct before it really starts slowing down. And I wanted to have a really big scope game, so there's like huge areas with like lots and lots of objects that you can manipulate and do stuff with. So I'm going with Construct. And uh, yeah, it's going pretty well. And I just work on it in my free time. Which I don't have a ton of, but you know, I have some. Yeah, in a nutshell, I, I got to build the toy I always wanted, so I figured I might as well build the video game I always wanted. <laughs>